and many times teenagers find it difficult to make informed decisions on their career choice and also do not pay attention to their mental health. Bearing this in mind, a non-governmental organization took to selected schools in Oweri, the Imo state capital, to equip students with adequate knowledge on mental health and career choice. Across projects, uh, their Prince Uba has details. Vocational, technical, and technological education are described as the bedrock of continuous development in any society as contribution of technology. Nigeria is grappling with a staggering mental health crisis as millions of its citizens suffer from various mental disorders. <laughs> According to the World Health Organization, a whopping 20% of Nigerians estimates around 40 million people are affected by mental illness. Does it have a market value? Worried by this trend, especially now that the nation is having food crisis, the Rotary Club in Oweri embarked on a campaign to secondary schools for mental health and career choice talk that will help the students make an informed decisions in life. Around your environment, what can I do differently that will create a positive impact for my generation and for myself? Don't take hard drugs. They are not good for you. A secondary school child cannot, a student cannot just go and buy beer and all that have been drinking. I mean, there is a problem somewhere, that's what it means. Let me tell you, it doesn't show that you're a big boy. Hello? It doesn't show that you're a big girl. It only shows that you have some kind of mental disorder. For the students, the event is timely as it will prepare them to care for fellow students going through mental disorder as well as make decisions that will help them in their chosen career in life. The positive mental health is the well-being of the mind, while the negative mental health is, is the bad mental health or the, the mental disorder. We can also help the people of having mental disorder by praying for them, by calming their, by calming their anxiety. Some of Nigeria's most prevalent mental illnesses include depression, and anxiety disorders. The impact of these illnesses extends beyond the individual, with healthcare workers, teachers, and even bankers also affected. Prince Oba, TVC News.